I gotta tell you a quick story. I'm not sure Dan is gonna be here. He said he was gonna try and be here, but your schedules are really, really jammed up. But uh, a few weeks ago, we were at a uh, reception in New Haven uh, for Dan and Nancy, and Dan started to talk about the qualities of Nancy Wyman, and uh, probably the smartest, the wisest decision he ever made was to choose Nancy Wyman to run as lieutenant governor. And he started to extol the virtues of Nancy, and it was a litany of just unbelievable accomplishments of, of Nancy Wyman. And when he was through, he started to think, and this was a line that I just won't forget. He says, my God, she's so good. She's so qualified to be the governor of this state. He said, I better increase my life insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to introduce Nancy Wyman. So many of all, You're not going to follow that conversation, night, but I said to Dan afterwards, you better stay healthy. <laughs> I don't want that job. <laughs> you know, we, we got to keep them healthy. It is great to be in Longford, and, and many, you do a great, great job. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. In Wallingford, I walk in there and Barbara Cathy comes over and gives me a gift. I thought, hey, this is different. I like this. Let me just show you this. But she promised that I, I would put this up in my new office, hopefully from her mouth to God's ears. Uh, and it's, it's a little saying that says, give a girl the right shoes, she can conquer the world. That midlife. And I think it's my new office. <laughs> Dan probably will not make it tonight, and he does send his apologies. Uh, we are trying to get to everything we could possibly get to, so sometimes we split up the state. Well, I got the choice tonight, so that's why I'm in Wallingford. He might not be here, because I wanted to be here. <laughs> and it was my choice tonight. You know what, we talk about 41 days and 15 minutes or something like that, and we are counting, um, but we do need your help. This is probably the best ticket we've ever seen, and it's not because I'm on it, by any means. You have great representation here with Mary. I gotta tell you, Mary and I served together a few days. A few days? <laughs> a few decades. Um, and Mary does a great job. Mary Chris does a great job. Mary Chris, yes. Mary, and Mary Mashinsky and, and, and Elizabeth is, I know, I don't know if he's here yet, but uh, they have done a great job and we really have to work to send them back. And we are depending upon them to carry us in. Because I figured, you got to understand, I, I'm Jewish. So I read from right to left, not left to right. <laughs> so it's all on your shoulders, Mary. Just as long as you can bring us in, Dan and I care about this a lot. You know, it'll be nice. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice that you can walk into a governor's office oh, and a lieutenant in the governor's office? Yep. And nobody would say, Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> or which governor do you want to see? No. Yeah, we don't want to do that anymore. We had that for too long. Uh, the fact is, is that you know we have some real difficult times ahead. And you know what? It is time for us to turn this around. We've got to change the way the state is going. And you know what? We haven't had a governor, a Democratic governor, for 20 years. 20 years. Two decades before we, since we've had a Democratic governor. And you know, I, I don't know about you, but I'm hearing, and so you might be hearing the same thing. Well, you know, this place could be really bad if we have a Democratic governor and a Democratic legislature. It's really terrible to have that. You know, you'll get all, say, wait a minute, we haven't had that in two decades. And I gotta tell you, the place is much worse now than it was 20 years ago. <laughs> you know, I, I want to say something, I'm not gonna keep you long, because 
you know, because the wine is great, um, <laughs> is that, you know, we don't really look at the polls, Dan and I, and I hope that you don't look at the polls, because we need to know that we are, I want you to know that we are running like we're 20 points behind. Because we really believe that no poll is accurate until election day. So if somebody says to me, when I, you know, who do you think is going to win? I said, I'll let you know in 42 days. 41 days from now, so it must be 42 days. But uh, we need your help. And, we, uh, and I'm not saying, and, and I need all of us. Dick Blumenthal, all the constitutional officers, our state reps, we all need you. And our judge, where is he? Our judge is here. Our probate judge is here. He needs your help too. Huh? Right? I'm out there for campaign. Huh? Right? Because um, there's a Republican that wants to be in your spot. Can't be. Can't be. We need your help. We really do. Uh, we need you to get out there and work as hard as you possibly can. I need you to speak to everybody you know. And if they, you know, and push the whole Democratic team, if they don't like us, could you please tell them to go out to vote on November 3rd? The election is November 2nd, but you know, they don't like us. We don't want them out there. So, um, but really, in all seriousness, please, thank you for the support you've given Dan and I, and to the whole Democratic team. Um, we know Warren Smith can deliver for us. God bless you all, and you know what? I'm inviting you all to the governor's mansion. Of course, Dan's not here. Thank you.